Hello. Tired? Because I've been busy, busy, busy. You can see our tomatoes are doing well. Everything has been transplanted. I transplanted all the bok choy this morning and uh, they were all wilted. And look at them now. They're all doing really good. It's not that warm out either. And it's but like it's warm in here. It's a, almost a little over 100 in here now. And I've got the fan on, the window open, and the door open. And it's only like about 40 outside. So you can see there, everybody's doing well. Even the Chinese cabbage, which was wilted this morning, is all starting to stand up nice. I planted some sweet corn down here and little things. We're going to put those into the system. That's going to be a different system than our bucket system. That's going to be the, um, it's going to be a uh, kiddie pool with some Walmart bags, recyclable bags, or reusable bags, whatever you want to call them. But you can see the all the bok choy that I transplanted this morning is all standing up nice and really green. They were all light, light yellow this morning. Look, they were ready to die off. I finally got a chance to get everything done and uh, we planted some Chinese cucumbers and I've got these soaking in some water so they'll expand. Oh, I get heartburn. Uh, I want to plant some more cherry tomatoes because we only end up with one cherry tomato. Wherever I put him, I think he's down here in the end. Okay. I think he's down here. We're doing pretty good. Uh, that's tomatoes. aroma. There's a cherry tomato in here somewhere. Maybe it's this one here. But it's doing well. And I got everything all marked so I know what is in what pot. Even if I get them all mixed, I've got some pak choy back here too. And you see that's they were all wilted, laying down flat on the dirt when I put them in there. And that was just since this morning. Give them a little water, give them a little fresh dirt, and they're all doing good. So this is our little update on our green housing. Do you want to walk outside and look at any of the plants outside, see how they're doing? Yeah, we can. We've got... Because uh, we haven't really checked them. We've we got rhubarb and everything else outside. But... We usually, every night we take a walk through, is what we always to check on all the plants. See what My we got to do. next project is this project is the tabletop. I've got to get peas and I've got to get uh, some radishes in this this season. I want to get some, we're going to, I want to start some uh, butter crunch lettuce in here too because that did really good last year. And I got to get our bucket system set up over there with our tomatoes and everything into it because I usually try to get those into the buckets by Mother's Day. Chicken tractor. The chicken tractor is <laughs> A little obsolete. I'm going to bust that down into a smaller unit and put quail in there, I think. Great quail, put legs on it, S some different uh, bottom in it. And then also, too, over here is Jack. Is brought him out to have some... Oh, he's having his greens. Some greens and lunch. So, he's out here chilling out. I don't know if you can see him too good. Let's see, what else do we got growing over here? We have apple trees and we have... I think our pear trees died. We'll have to replace those. Raspberries and all that. We have raspberries. Some of the thornless blackberries are up there. We'll have to find out how they're doing once the spring allows. I have the... What's this here? Oh, I'm Those sorry. are apple trees. These are hazelnut bushes. So we'll probably get some flowers after a while. Soon. Our uh, grapes aren't showing any sign, but it's still early yet. Let's see. Every, it's a little early for stuff. We got but buds on some of them. Got our little flowers. There's buds on the, on the grapes. Oh, there's buds on the grapes? Yeah. Leaf okay. buds. So. Okay. Some dried branches are going to have to be clipped off. And this thing? This is our goju. Or go, yeah, goju berry. Goji. Goju. Gojo. Whatever you want to call it. Little red berries. It's the third year that's been in. It hasn't really done much. These are our peach trees. 
this is a good one. It's really doing well. I really haven't had the weather warm enough for them to start budding out yet. But they got buds on, but they haven't started to turn to leaves yet. One of them is a Reliant and the other one is a Majestic. The apricot has it. But... Well, it's got some leaf buds on there. This one survived, the other one died. I don't know why the other one died. Is that in our compost? Yep. Our mulberry tree? How's our rhubarb doing? Let's go see the rhubarb. We'll visit barb. Rhubarb. <laughs> uh, I should have put a steak in here. Oh, don't worry, we'll look for it later. Yeah, it's all... It's right over there. Okay, yep. Coming up. Okay. So we got our rhubarbs coming back. Yep. And let's see. Our we can check our bulb garden. We've got more trees and stuff in there. We gotta get inside that fence and clean up stuff there. I pick mulberries all summer long once they start coming in. Yeah, I hope so. Well, the tops out of it. This last fall. A big old mulberry tree. There's so much going on and you can only do so much. This is a variated maple, which has two different shades in their leaves. They're white with green around the edge. Or they're green with white around the edge, it's hard to remember. But they're two-tone leaves. And about more. Well, that thing was only like three feet tall when I put it in. That thing is getting enormous. See the leaves coming out on that? Leaf buds. And then the bulb garden starting to do pretty good. The hyacinths don't look too healthy, but they're they're bloomed. This needs a little bit of work. I can smell them though. Mm -hmm. Got the other daffodils are coming in too. There's like six different types of daffodils in here. There's quite a few daffodils over there too. Right now, there's only two different types. Of course, we got moles around here that wreak havoc. <laughs> yeah, they eat the bulbs. I've got to get the, got to buy some juicy fruit gum and throw them down the mole holes. Do you want to go look at the uh, apricot or the, was it the fruit plum? Yep, we can do that. But there's always more that we want to grow. I do have to replace those two pear trees, though. So. Money and money, time <laughs> and effort and opportunity and opportunity and finding things that you need. I still got this mess to clean up. I did get all the sawdust and everything raked up last weekend. And did clean up most of the porch. It's tough because it's tough when it snows <laughs> when you're halfway through the cleaning job. And I don't think we're going to be killing any chickens or rabbits this no, year. This Maybe some guinea hens this fall. Maybe we'll have some guinea hens to eat. Maybe that'll be a... Oh, the buds are coming out. Leaf. Yep, they're starting to come that'll out. That'll be nice. We have some... As long as the flowers bloom and the wind doesn't blow them off there, we might have some fruit this year. And our strawberries. Get some irises coming up here. Pastas over here, which I don't see any activity really with those. Well, I saw some earlier. Oh, did you? Yeah, I'll point it out. And then this. strawberries. The rooster fell over. He's in a swoon. Let's see if the hostas are coming up. But Yeah, they start to come up like points. I think they're down here in the end. Yeah, it's not, well, I don't know. Right there. Okay. These are hostas coming out. Okay. Yep, I see a little bit down there. They're like little purple crowns. And so we can... Green, got a green, green one's coming in. 
So we got some things we got to yeah, get cleaned up. up they're coming up. Good. See? Yep, they're starting to shoot up. Right in here. They're, they're popping up through. How'd the ones across the road, did they ever come up? Do you ever check? I haven't checked those yet. Our poppies are coming Our up. Our poppies, yep. Poppies there. And then we also have uh, this chicken hen, chicks and hens. And, and Clay chicken. wants to dig in this and get some the of this. Old tree stumps are rotting in the way, so I might be able to knock some of this apart. I can make some dandelion salad for you with the fresh... See? I'm oh, digging yeah. most of it with my fingers. With the fresh greens. <laughs> yeah, I did that one day for Clay, and it was better. Oh, <laughs> the dandelion you, salad. You eat dandelions before. Before the flower comes on him. Yeah, it was just too... It was bitter. Very it was, bitter. And he was trying to be kind because it was the first time I did it. And trying to be homesteading woman. <laughs> and we got... Dandelion salad is when the dandelions first come up through the grass. Like like this thing. All right, this, if this was a dandelion, you'd pick the smaller ones up. Which I think that is a dandelion. But you pick the leaves off it before any flower... I think we have more viola than normal this year, Clay. Well, this has always had a lot of them up here. Oh, maybe I just didn't remember. Usually it's Johnny Jump Ups up here, too. They have a yellow in the face. But I, I love looking at these little purple flowers through the yard. But they used to have crocuses all over here, and there's no crocuses anymore. And then the and hens the and chicks. But we're looking forward to, you know, planting some new stuff and but getting things looking nice. The stumps are just rotting them right away. Oh, yeah. That's good, but they boy it decomposed fast, maybe because of the Spend sun. What, two years, three years. Yeah, a couple of years. So. No, the dirt rots them out quick. Oh, the dirt does. That's why I covered them up with dirt. Okay. You're still gonna see where the stumps are, where mm -hmm. they weren't covered. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be hard, hard for a long time. Oh, okay. The only way you're gonna pull them out is a little at a time. Okay. Each season, you take a pickaxe and pull, and fill in the dirt where the root was. But these will rot after a few years. See they're rotting and down on this end already. Oh yeah. And that's what we're hoping will happen over near the strawberries too. It'll rot that stump but it's going to take years for that one to go. Well so that's the lowdown on the gardening. I guess we're going to probably I sit down get some iced tea and, and relax for a little bit before I have to get up and do something else. Hopefully them chicks hatch, and that's got me kind of worried. Yeah, new. once a couple come out, then you feel a little bit better. Yeah, you, once one hatches, you have some hope anyways. So we're, I guess we're going to sit and relax, join us again on our farm, and help us farm. And uh, God bless. Bye-bye.